меня лестница грубейшая. Пускается, взрослая стала. Управляет учитель. the first of our three student speakers, Gabby Hoskins, who will be addressing the class. Now, I'm going to be the first to admit it. I am absolutely terrified right now. But my horoscope <laughs> once told me that if I didn't feel like I was about to throw up, I wasn't taking enough risks. So there you go. We've even put up the vain struggle of trying to find comfortable seating during past graduation ceremonies even when we knew good and well that the bleachers would be filled hours in advance. And now we all feel great because we have the best seats in the house. We <laughs> all the similarities among us and that we use this to our advantage. This ceremony and the following all-nighter are our final chances to make new friends here and talk to the people that we haven't yet had the courage to speak to. My hope is that we all take this opportunity while we have it. Hello, graduating class of 2008. I would like to start off by introducing myself. For all of those who do not know me, my name is Charlie Jesso, and I've been selected to speak for graduation. It is a great honor to be here today. Never in a million years would I have thought I'd be speaking for graduation. I'm one of the most quietest and most reserved people that you could ever meet. <laughs> Now I'd like you to introduce the last of our student speakers, Haley Besker. There was a time we thought high school would never come. A time when we couldn't imagine getting tired of watching cartoons. A time when it seemed like we would never be like the big kids. Now we are the big kids. Cartoons come second to reality shows, and today we are preparing to leave the place that once seemed so out of reach. Now, I would like to introduce a wonderful teacher, Miss Joelle Heckman, our chosen faculty speaker. I would like to ask all the students who've ever been one of my students to please stand. You have changed my life. You've made me a better person. And I thank you for enriching my life. Okay, you can sit, you little stinkers. If his students were not making mistakes. I was confused by this statement. Surely I misheard him. No, he restated. If they're not making mistakes, then they're not learning. In 1954, Elvis Presley was fired by the manager of the Grand Ole Opry, who stated, you ain't going anywhere, son. We don't like their sound, said the executives. Everyone knows Babe Ruth as the famous home run record setter, but no one remembers he also held the record for the greatest number of strikeouts.
In clear that evening, with 90 students who were selected for life membership in the California Scholarship Federation. Alexa Green, Rebecca Gross, Melissa McGovern, Colin Pepper, Megan Perrin, Matthew Sevilla, Sheila Sahazadeh, Sarah Wilkerson. Now, will all the life members of the California Scholarship Federation please stand? Ha, ha, ha. 